All right, we're finally up to solving logarithmic equations. So the basic steps for solving a, an equation with a single logarithm in it is to isolate the log to one side, then you write a new equation by raising the base to both sides. What that means is, uh, let's say your equation you had a uh, log base two of three x equals five. What you would do is write a new equation where you do 2 raised to the log base 2 of 3x equals 2 raised to the fifth. Now, I've got a star next to it because it says uh, write a new equation. This new equation might have some solutions that are not solutions to the original. So what that means is any solutions you get to this new equation, you've got to check them back in the original. Uh, and really the only thing you have to check for is to make sure you don't wind up taking log of a zero or log of a negative number. If you get those, you have to throw them out. It, it, um, let's, uh, let's look at an example. So solve three natural log x equals nine. Okay, first thing I would do here is divide by three to get ln x equals three. And now I can do e to the ln x e because the natural log is base e. So e to the ln x equals e cubed. The e and ln undo each other, so we just get x equals e cubed. All right, now we have to check this by plugging it back into the original equation. So I get e cubed here. And really, I don't have to go further in checking. All I really need to do is make sure that the thing that I put inside the log is positive. Is this positive? Yes. So we don't really have to do any more from that. That's all we need to do to check that this is indeed an, a solution to the original equation. Okay, let's do this one. Solve log base 4 of x cubed plus 37 minus 3 equals 0. Okay, this looks ugly, but it's not really that bad. We'll move the 3 over to the other side. Log base 4 of x cubed plus 37 equals 3. And now we'll write a new equation by doing 4 raised to this equals 4 raised to that. Now it's perfectly fine with me if you want to just come in and do this. 4 raised to this equals 4 raised to that. So that gives me x cubed plus 37 equals 4 to the third power. Let's see, 4 to the third power is 64. So let's see, I get x cubed equals 64 minus 37 is 27. So x cubed is 27, that gives me x is 3. All right, now let's uh, check this in the original. And remember, all we really need to do is look at what's inside the, the log. If So we need to say, is uh, 3 cubed plus 37 positive? The answer there is yes. So that's all we need to do as far as checking the answer. x equals 3, we're good. Um, all right, one more. Solve this thing. All right. Take the 4 off of both sides. You get 7. Yeah, 11 minus 4 is 7. Divide by 2. So I get 7 halves. And then I'll do 2 raised to this side equals 2 raised to that side. So I get 3x plus 1 equals 2 to the 7 halves.
So x is 2 to the 7 halves minus 1 all over 3. Is there a better way to write that? I mean, we could we could rewrite the 7 halves as, um, as 6 halves plus 1 half, make it uh, 2 cubed, 8 root 2. Let me actually explain what I just said. 2 to the 7 halves is, you write that as 2 to the 3 plus 1 half, which is 2 cubed, times 2 to the 1 half. So that's 8 root 2. So I could write this out as 8 root 2 minus 1 over 3. But I'd be happy with it in either, um, I'd be happy with it in either form.